the big breaking news on the markets front. The Sensex has hit 60,000 for the very first time uh, today. Well, let's go across to Sakshi Bajaj for more. And Sakshi, what's driving the market? That's right, Gargi. The Dalal Street party clearly continues a historic day. Sensex does finally touch the 60,000 mark. Remember, yesterday we were counting down to it just before closing. The Nifty also near the 18,000 mark. The Nifty trading above 17,900. The Sensex opening above 60,150. Clearly a landmark there. And remember, we've touched this fresh milestone in less than one year. Come January 21st, we hit 50,000 on the Sensex. And today we are at 60,000. So really a rapid journey for our benchmark indices. Now, the past few days, what has really been driving this rally are, of course, two sectors. We've seen the Nifty IT surge. It's currently also surging over 2%. And we've seen the realty stocks also surge. So we've seen Nifty realty also surge and you know IT stocks also do really well. Now of course experts believe, remember IT hiring trends have been on the rise. IT has really stood out as a sector during the pandemic and therefore IT has been seen doing exceedingly well. We've also seen realty stocks do well. Remember of course luxury home spaces are on the rise and people are really looking at comfort now. And so therefore we can see that big uptick in all the realty stocks as well. So really a landmark day there for our benchmark indices. Of course, experts believe this is a broad-based rally. Some also suggest that now, you know, this could be a time to be really cautious because this has been a rapid, rapid rise. Now we have Mr. Nasir Salim joining us with his expert take on the market momentum. Sir, what do you say? Celebrations on the last street set to continue? Good morning, uh, Sakshi. Yes. Absolutely. I think, you know, the markets have been euphoric with a lot of uh, momentum as we're seeing, you know, uh, uh, all excited. I think, you know, the bosses are celebrating some of the great numbers that we've seen, whether it's in terms of tax collections as compared to last year, 37% up. Uh, GST revenues are shooting up quarter by quarter, month on month. So I think, uh, and also the fact that, you know, we're looking at now pretty much uh, there is a belief and a positive belief that we're looking at entering into the endemic stage from the pandemic stage over the next three to four months. I think all of this coupled with good results with certain companies are showing some great performances and uh, huge liquidity surge. Uh, so actually yesterday in itself, we saw massive buying from uh, DIIs and FIIs, incidentally. Uh, also, the results of Accenture. Uh, which is one of the largest consultancy firms in the world, have also shown some great revenue trajectory. So all of this is adding up to the current, uh, you know, great run on the Sensex and Nifty. Right. But, sir, what do you have to say to those who believe IT and realty are really driving this rally forward? Of course, we've also seen Nifty IT currently surging over the 2% mark and realty stocks doing really well in the past few days. You see, there are two things, uh, Sashi. I think both... Uh, these sectors are very important to, and you know, uh, I mean, real estate, of course, this reality is related to uh, the entire pandemic situation, right? We saw all of them uh, with an all-time low base last year. We saw performances were very, very sluggish in terms of companies with in the reality sector. All of those seem to pick up. Uh, there's pent-up demand, which is now creating, uh, you know, and which will have a roller coaster ride on revenue quarter revenue for some of these companies. As far as IT is concerned, again, you know, we've seen uh, the entire IT, IT ecosystem picking up because the order to book, which was originally had come down on account of the pandemic globally, because this is a global scenario that we were battling, has also now started to show uh, increase in order book, more orders coming in in the form of KPOs, BPOs, and all of these, uh, you know, pushing uh, the entire IT index up. Also, I think, uh, you know, uh, we've also seen the dollar appreciating as against the INR, you know, we've, we've seen it, you know, being basically between 72 and 75. Mm -hmm. But today we see a dollar uh, strengthening as against the INR, um, which is also further fueling up, uh, you know, revenues for uh, IT companies which have pegged their uh, pricing on dollar basis. So I think all of these things are pushing both these sectors up. All right, sir. But what do you have to say to those who suggest caution ahead because mid caps are now also overpriced? They feel valuations are getting expensive. Do you believe that as well? Sachi, absolutely. I think that's a very, very important, uh, you know, statement made by you. Uh, with all, you know, with all the investors, and this is the only thing that I would like to keep repeating to all the investors and all your uh, people who are watching this news channel at the moment, 
is that look please do not forget your goal uh, you have to go back and keep checking your intention for investing uh, this is not something which is uh, in the short run you have to be in the long run timing the market is something which nobody can get right spend time in the market is what we keep advocating uh, please be responsible investors do not get carried away by greed uh, you are seeing the sensex today at 60000 index uh please don't uh, assume that it will reach the next 70 in the same period there a date from 50 to 60000 right please be cautious allocations have to be merited basis certain metrics price to book price to earnings your own asset allocation between debt equity i think these are some very fundamental questions that you need to keep reviewing with your planners if you are advocating uh, investing in equity please understand there's something called risk adjusted return you cannot be blindfolded and be investing in equities right. not knowing the risks associated with it so yes a clear word of caution even i would suggest that please review your uh, original investment themes your original investment ideas the intention with which money has been invested mm-hmm. with your goals right right thank you so much for that expert take sir and for joining us of course we also have mr devain choksi now a market expert joining us sir well celebrations on dalal street but do you also suggest a cautious note going forward now actually good morning and congratulations to you and all your viewers i think you guys have been doing excellent job in taking market to the investors uh well i think this journey is important we are seeing we are in this journey from 3.5 trillion market cap today to 5 trillion dollar market cap somewhere in 2025 when our economy touches 5 trillion dollar now that is an expectation on which i think we are uh, continuing to ride this particular rally in the market and to participate in this rally the global funds and local investors everybody has uh, entered into with the amount of money that they have so the liquidity is fueling the rally significantly at this point of time in my view point i think while we are on this journey i think it is important that we select our companion uh, in this journey very carefully and in this context the companion would be i think the right kind of stock in your portfolio if you have right kind of stock in your portfolio your journey would be smooth if you have i think a risky stock in your portfolio the journey could be bumpy so let this particular message go out to the investor in right kind of stock i think your journey is sure to get uh, completed in the uh, risky stock that your journey might have a little bit of turbulence so this is where i think one should take a differentiation i am not more wiser than i think one entire market is but i would like to keep i think this mantra in place sure sure just a quick investing. response to this sir so which sector will not give investors a turbulent journey going ahead as you are saying you know what what is the sectors that you are betting on going forward so my confidence level remains high with life insurance business my confidence level remains high with uh, it and it enabled businesses the confidence level remains high with pharma in which particularly the api segment of the business housing finance business and retail credit and corporate credit business which is provided by the corporate bank these are few of the businesses which i have larger confidence also and also oems i think they remain accurately sure bet in the near term so definitely i think they could not be or they should not be missed out either all right thank you so much for joining us on this historic day that's it from business world gargi of course celebrations on the last street continue back to you for other news